It's probably safe to say that every country has its own sort of national humour and that regions in every country have their own national humour. Um, this struck me rather forcibly with the following article, which is, I can just see a big shower of something brown it is about to occur and hit fans if this movie is released here in Britain. Let's have a look first at this. Irish rap trio Kneecap hit Sundance with Smokey Stun as Sony Pictures classic buys Michael uh, Fassbender's Dara. Oh, uh, this is the rap trio Kneecap, who are from Belfast. They have a habit of turning up and doing stunts like this to promote themselves. Um, if you're not familiar with them, I'll say look them up. I'm not going to put a link to their music because YouTube tends to dislike when you do links to bands or anything like that. It seems to think you're trying to sell the band or promote them and tends to throw a wobbly about it. But you may find them interesting. You do them. I warn you, you will need a very broad sense of humour for them. A very, very broad sense of humour. Also, as, as a rap in Irish half the time, not Gaelic. Please do not call it that. It is Irish, not Gaelic. Um, they, You may need to, to look up the lyrics in translation for some of it. Um, here they are in a PSNI Land Rover. They've readapted, shall we say, and they have a real habit of this. And because they're rapping about stuff to do with the Troubles and Irish history, and they ain't exactly very polite about some of it, to put it mildly. Um, they are deliberately aiming to rile up controversy and silliness. And we'll get round to how the British government's already perceiving them in a minute. This movie premiered at Sundance and one it has apparently proved to be quite a hit with Michael Fassbender, who is half Irish and half German, although, as I remember, he grew up more in Ireland than Germany, in it. And here is the reaction when I can get rid of that silliness from the wonderful world of Zoom up there. Here's the reaction from the government here. Kneecap, Belfast rap group, take legal action after UK blocks grant. Here we have the three members, Mowgli Bap, DJ Provi, and Mokara. They're an Irish-speaking rap trio from Belfast. At Balaclava, the middle is more than enough to cause annoyance, I should imagine, and cause people to be spitting out their coffee over keyboards. Um, the Belfast rap group DCAP is planning to take legal action after it was blocked from getting a £15,000 grant after the UK government objected. Um, Kemi Badenoch apparently said they did not want to hand taxpayers money to people that oppose the UK United Kingdom itself. Kneecap's representatives had applied for the funding under the music export grown scheme. Not heard of this. I've heard of a fair few of these art schemes. You get loads of them. The paperwork for most of them is endless and they fund, fund all sorts of things. This is a government-backed initiative which offers grants of up to £50,000 to UK-registered music companies to promote artists in overseas markets. On Friday, Phoenix Law, pass, based in Belfast, that's an interesting name, I'll come back to what, why I find it interesting in three, about three seconds, said it'd been interested by the ban to take legal proceedings. Fe the Phoenix is used as a symbol in Irish republicanism to indicate rebirth and is connected with the Fenians from the 1860s. I'm sure that name Phoenix Law is just coincidental, though. Um, she, Miss Badenoch, has today been put on notice. Her decision is unlawful, the firm said on social media. And who are Kneecap? After I just give me eye rub there. It's a bit dusty here. I've been wandering around doing some dusty work earlier. Kneecap are an Irish-speaking trio from West Belfast who openly co caught controversy with their provocative lyrics of merchandiser. Um Court controversy is understating it. You really will have to go and listen to them to, to see what I mean. I think that this picture, though, will, will give you a good idea of how controversial they are. You've got a bloke there with the, the Irish tricolour on. He's a balaclava. That's a start. Two dogs on chait, on leash, leashes. And the two other lads sitting on the, the, uh, on the car. 
Uh, the group has faced criticism and censorship over their politically charged, explicitly filled drug referencing lyrics. Yeah, their lyrics are incredibly full of drug referencing. One of their best known records is called Get Your Brits Out, a parody rap in which the bands go on an emergency drug filled night out with prominent members of the Democratic Unionist Party. Um, I warn you, before you listen to that song, I've listened to that on YouTube and it uses a particular backdrop of a, a caricature of the late Queen as an elderly woman in a particular way. If you have any affection for the late Queen, you may find it seriously offensive. So I warn you to uh, avoid it if you do. Even if you're fond of rap music, you may not find it too funny. In 2019, ahead of a headline slot at the West Belfast Festival, the group unveiled a mural of a burning police vehicle with the message of the RUC, Royal Ulster Constabulary are not welcome, written in Irish. Kneecap have actively welcomed the controversy they have created, stating that they like to get people riled up and arguing that art should be challenging. They also point out that much of their music is tongue-in-cheek. There's a whole controversy about them, and this is going to, uh, to be honest, they're not going to care much about this because... The amount of money that Nika will raise from their involvement in Sundance, 15,000 quid, will be dropping the ocean stuff. And you can't buy publicity like this. This is another article from Hot Press, which is a very popular music magazine in Ireland and has been for many years, showing these three lads. Um, I can just see, like, in the next week or two, this becoming a huge sort of thing for people to kick off on on certain websites and certain channels. There, It's a bit hard to find trailers for this at the minute or anything, but it should be quite amusing. I'll, I'll, I'll be watching the responses with fascination, shall we say. I can just see them being quite predictable and see a back and forth battle going on. I could just see some particular right-wing channels like... Um, that bloke Paz, who's supposedly an ex-paratrooper, for example, I've watched an odd bit of him going mad about this and other people. Um, I will say I don't find some of their some of their output as a as rappers all that. You know, I think they're deliberately being over the edge sometimes and deliberately trying to wind people up just for the sake of it. And they know what they're doing. I don't mind courting controversy, but uh, I'd be concerned that they're courting like you know almost violence, but that's only my own point of view.